Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, I'm out on the trail and uh, I thought I'd stop and shoot a really quick video. Uh, I said in my last video, it looked like it could rain and I felt about a temp 10 degree temperature drop. So uh, I believe the rain is on its way. I'm kind of huffing and puffing here if you can't tell. And uh, But I'm going to shoot this really quick because it's been so long since I got a video out. I wanted to get it done and uh, answer this guy's question. Uh, well... It was on uh, Grizzly Hillbilly, his, I think it was his cousin, uh, was asking how to build a bushcraft kit. And I uh, also had somebody on my Facebook page. Uh, and you can go check that out, facebook.com forward slash country prepper. Uh, go give my page a like. And uh, anyhow, uh, people ask me questions on there all the time. And uh, since I, I was asked the question personally, and also Grizzly Hillbilly was asking uh, for his cousin, how do you build a bushcraft kit? Well, uh, there's there's really not that much into a bushcraft kit, but if you don't know, then you know it is a good idea to ask. So uh, first thing I'm going to start with is uh, what I actually carry on me, and what's not what's in my haversack, but. Uh, uh, the first thing, I've been testing this knife out for a while. Uh, I've already shown this in a video once, but that is my Condor Loch Ness Mook. And uh, I need to clean that up a little bit. But uh, so far, so good. It's holding up really well. That convex edge, uh, it really retains an edge very for a very long time. I haven't had to sharpen it yet, and it's still chopping away at stuff like nothing. So I'll have that video coming up real soon. And uh, I do recommend it, but... Uh, I'll actually shoot a video just for that knife. Uh, the other thing that I carry, uh, here, I'll just take it off. I got a, one of them snap danglers that I make. Uh, you've seen these plenty of times. Condor Bush Lore, excellent bushcraft knife. Has a nice 90 degree spine, Scandinavian, uh, or 90 degree edge on the spine. Uh, Scandinavian grind, kind of a Kephart style uh, spear point, whatever you want to call it. Uh, great bushcraft knife uh you know especially if you're on a budget they're like 35 40 bucks you can't beat that uh, i have been carrying the mini bush lore but as you can see i don't use it a lot uh really honestly you don't need it uh if you have this one you're good to go but i carry the mini just because you know it, it doesn't add any more you know much weight at all and uh, I could see where it could come in handy from time to time so that's why I carry it but uh, like I said it's not necessary to carry a little knife like that uh, you know if you want to carry a neck knife that way if you're uh, you know it's just a quick in and out you never you ne never should set down a knife but uh, that's that's a whole nother uh, video anyhow I also carry this is the Light My Fire Swedish Fire Steel uh, with the dog bone kydex that uh, Gear Nut makes. It's got the uh, jute twine wrapped around it, so I always have a little extra tinder on me. If something should happen and I drop my haversack, I still have a way to make fire on around my neck. So, uh, let's also go with EDC. Now, I'm carrying a lot of knives with me today. I don't usually. I usually carry like two or three tops. Uh, but I have my EDC on me. First thing is the Through Knight Archer, or uh, yeah, Archer 1A V2. Takes a AA battery or a 14500 a rechargeable. Uh, great little EDC light. I've never done a review on it because everybody's done a review. Anybody who does reviews on flashlight has done a review on that flashlight. So why me? Why should I do it? Uh, I don't know. Might anyway, but. Flashlight reviews do not get views. Uh, my last one has, I, it might be at 100 now, and that was like four months ago, so or three months ago. So the other thing, my EDC, my Kershaw Cryo. Uh, it's just always good to have redundancy, but if you're just going out into the woods for an overnighter or just out for a hike, you don't really need to carry that many blades. Uh, and I wouldn't bother with a folder in the first place if you're going out doing something like this i just happened to have it on me from going to town earlier i had my edc on me but uh, i still would carry the flashlight just maybe not the folder because you're gonna ha you're gonna use fixed blades out in the woods at least that's what i do i i don't use a folder out in the woods i don't trust the 
I don't trust the joint or the locking mechanism to hold up to the kind of things that I do with knives. So uh, we'll get into the haversack here. And well, what's on the outside of the haversack? Uh, this also comes from Gear Nut made this for me. It's a bunch of bank line, kind of a donut on a carabiner. You know, plenty of cordage if you, if you should happen to need it. And I also carry an extra paracord bracelet just in case I need that little extra bit of paracord. So, let's get right down into the kit. Got my fire kit. If you want to see what's actually in the fire kit, uh, I did a VR for Trevor Fillmore and Madison C. Iowa. Go back and watch that video. You can see what all is in here. But there's like 10 sources of tinder, surefire, and a backup ferro rod and a lighter in there. Uh, I just recently put the lighter back in. I always EDC one, but it never hurts to have a backup. Two is one, one is none, right? Uh, next thing I carry, this is a... I uh, can't remember... I think the name is Weenas, W-E-A-N-A-S. Uh, these are on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, I will put them. I still have an Amazon store on my website, countryprepper.com. Uh, the Amazon store is still on there. I use links for eBay when I'm on making a video. But for the purposes of this, it's a 7x7 seven seven tarp. goes for 20 bucks. The, I'm not going to lie to you, the uh, little, yeah, those, they suck, to be quite honest. I need to sew some tie-outs on it. But for 20 bucks, modify it a little bit, it's a pretty good tarp. 7x7, seven seven, and it is treated. So, moving on. Oh, and inside of that, I carry four tent stakes in there with me. Uh, I carry that with me just in case I get out here and like today, it could start downpouring any minute. Need to get under a shelter, need to get under it quick. Who wants to stop and make stakes out of sticks when you can carry four lightweight little stakes with you? Uh, you know, they, they don't weigh enough to not carry them. So uh, that's about it for that. I'm going to have to set some stuff down here. <coughs> uh, something I got from Grizzly Hillbilly that I just put in my haversack is that little knife just in case I feel like digging out a spoon making a making a spoon uh, I just poked myself with it dummy <laughs> uh, I carry a multi-tool just a cheapo I've had it for like 15 20 years uh, yeah, I've had it since I was a teenager, so probably about 20 years. I also carry I got some coffee and some tea and a spork and some Lipton chicken noodle soup. Just in case you get caught out here overnight, you know, not planning on it, you still have something for something, put something in your stomach. So, uh, I'll put that stuff down. Yep, see, dummy. <laughs> Now I need to throw a first aid kit in here. I don't have my... See, I went and did a video with the Mother of All Survival Kits that I did have attached to this haversack. And I forgot to put it back on my haversack. I don't have it with me. I call myself a prepper and I'm not very well prepared sometimes. Anyhow, I have... Uh, this was also something that was in the uh, box that uh, Grizzly Hillbilly sent me. Just a little hank of jute twine. And... Uh, it fell out of the box and I didn't have it in the video, so that was in there too. Uh, I also carry a Coglin's folding stove and a few of the little tablets with me. Uh, same purpose, just in case I get stuck out here and uh, just need to make myself something quick to eat. Or if I need some heat in a really big hurry, uh, always have that with me. So, last but not least. 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. Uh, I do have a stainless steel one, but it does not nest very good in that cup. It's tapered. It's the Nalgene 32 ounce camper model. And uh, it's tapered down at the bottom. Doesn't fit in this cup very well. Rattles, so it kind of drives me nuts. So I put that in my bug out bag. And uh, that was part of my upgrades for my bug out bag video that I got coming up pretty soon. But anyhow, that's... That's the last two things. Stainless steel cup. Always go with stainless steel, not aluminum. Uh, 
several reasons for that. I'm not really going to get into them, but just if you don't know, please look it up. Uh, you know, I know the military used aluminum for a lot of years, and you know, it's I mean, it's not going to kill you or anything, but uh, I just stainless steel is, is better. Uh, aluminum can leach things out when it gets heated into your water so uh, that's why I don't carry that but anyhow uh, I also have I'm not gonna pull it out I got a bandana in my back pocket uh, always good to have a cotton bandana with you kinda if you're building a haversack start with the five C's and uh, you know that's Dave Canterbury saying go watch his video I don't want to steal his idea but uh, you know, it's, it's a very popular video here on YouTube. It won't be hard to find. Just type in five C's of survivability. I'm going to get off the trail. I'm going to get back to my truck before it starts raining on me. But I had to get that video out and, uh, you know, try to try to help somebody get started in this, uh, this kind of a lifestyle, I guess you would call it. So uh, maybe you guys will have another member of the community here pretty soon. So that would be great. Anyhow, that's it for today, guys. Uh... You know, go, uh, I don't know, go follow, yeah, go uh, go check out bushcraftrecipes.com. That's what I said in the last video. Uh, I do need some help. I need more videos. So, uh, you know, help me promote it. It only helps you. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.